Yeah, Miss State Farm's on the big excavator. Yeah, she's tearing down the house. Yeah, Daddy and Miss State Farm are gonna build a new house. Yeah, so Miss State Farm is wrecking the old house. Oh, very exciting, very exciting. And he's gonna turn it. We've already got the doors on the right end so he doesn't have to twist it around. Okay, we got the crane here this morning. They're setting up. Encore Electricity's already been here to turn off the power. We've got these high lines right here and we're using it, uh, the crane over the high wires to lift the container. We're gonna put the first container on this slab here. And then we're gonna put the second container over there. They're putting their pads down for their outriggers now. Once we've already been here and turned off the electricity. So there's a few houses here without power while we're doing this. That's going to be interesting watching that container going over those high wires. So we've lifted the crane off the ground. It's all the weights on the outrigger. Okay, so we're going to put these extra weights on the crane now. Yeah, Daddy told us we needed to come by and inspect the job site. We want to see the containers too. See what our new home is going to look like. Yeah. I think they're pretty big, Daddy. They look pretty big to us. Yeah. We want to make sure we're not around when the crane's working because we don't want to get squashed. Here's our weights on the container. We're going to be leaving most of these decal, decals or are, are painted. I don't know if the decals are painted. This container empty weighs uh, 61,000 pounds, about uh, 30 tons. So it's pretty dang heavy. And we're going to be leaving most of this hardware to show. And some of the areas, there's, there's a lot more containers to come. The, uh, that stuff goes away. We want some of it to show. So they've got it rigged up and have, a, have to have a special certified rigger to connect it. So the liability is fall on the rigger and the company, or we can provide the rigger. In this case, we, we let the crane company provide the rigger. Well, that was pretty painless. It didn't even rev the truck up. Okay, getting ready to lift the second one. This one's a lot trickier because we've got to go over the high lines. We've been here and turned the electricity off. So these neighbors to our west don't have any electricity, but we'll have it back on here in another 20 minutes or so, I reckon. Okay, they're lifting this one. It's going over the power line. turn it. We've already got the doors on the right end so he doesn't have to twist it around. Nice. We got it over the high wires. That was the part everybody was worried about. Bringing it down now through those trees. We had to trim those trees. Make enough room for it. The guys on the end here with ropes that are twisting it and turning it and guiding it into place. You can see underneath that where it's got a frame that it just sits down on a dolly to, to become an 18 wheeler trailer. These are called uh, one-trip containers. They're basically brand new. We ordered them in the color we wanted from China.
gotten it in. And containers are never perfectly square or perfectly level. So after they put them in place, they have to shim them and, and work on them to get them level. They're having some trouble because one tree limb is keeping it from moving over. So we used the crane and pivoted the container to break the tree limb. Okay, they got it all finished up. Got them nice and neat, stacked, all tidied up. So this is the duplex. Downstairs is for storage for like lawnmowers and things like that. And upstairs is the is the guest guest bedroom. Oh, it's pretty scary. It's kind of noisy too. <laughs> yeah. He's tearing it up. Miss State Farm Life's tearing stuff up. Yeah. Okay. He's getting instructions. Yeah. Oh, this is pretty scary. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's really doing your job. Good job, Miss State Farm. Good job. <laughs> here. Yeah, it's going to be very exciting. Yeah. Yeah. We're just checking everything out. Make sure everything is on the up and up for the demolition job. Yeah. Daddy brought us to the, to the new house today. Yeah, this is where we're going to build a new house, he said. Yeah, we're just here checking it out. Yeah. They're fixing to tear it down. New State Farm and Daddy. They got a big excavator here, and the man's going to tear the house down. Yeah, it's a pretty big dog house, we think. Oh, it's coming down. Another day or so, it'll be gone. Miss Day Farmer, you concerned about that mud? You might get some on your shoes. There you go, see there? The State Farm said she couldn't get up in there and drive that bulldozer with heels on, but we know she's pretty tough. Okay, Miss State Farm, we're ready for you to move some dirt. See? Oh, you're gonna have to go faster than that, Miss State Farm. A little harder. There you go. I think you're gonna need more training before we can do any professional work here. Oh, this is fun, Daddy. We're gonna like riding on this, we're pretty sure. Yeah. There's lots of places to do some business here right? all day long. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Got a picture. Okay. She's <laughs> pretty tough. She's pretty tough, Daddy. Ready to pour the first foundation here. This is for the guest house. This is for the two containers that are going to be stacked behind the main house for the guest house. Okay, we're fixing to get started here. You've had to pour this rear slab first because uh, once we set the once we pour the front foundation, we won't be able to get the crane in here to set the rear containers. So we're pouring the rear slab first, and then we're going to set these rear containers, which have to, which require a crane under these high lines, which is really tricky, and with all these trees. And then we can move forward and pour the main house foundation up here, and we won't have to get a crane back here again. Got some really big beams in this little bitty foundation. It's totally stupid, but the engineer requires all that. Even though the container sits on the peg legs on the corners, it bears no weight anywhere except on the corners. The, the beams are a total waste of money and concrete. Well, we're on the third truck. It's a little bitty slab, but it took more than I thought it was going to take. 
Well, here's the finished product. Eight feet wide and 45 feet long to hold a container and then a second story container as well. I marked it with our initials. Well, we're drilling beers and hauling off the dirt. Well, we're drilling beers. I forget how many of them. I want to say it's about 30. And we hit water at 15 feet, which is a problem. Normally, the engineer would let us uh, spread out the bottom of the pier and make it bigger, but he's insisting that we go to 21 feet, which means we have to bore through the water, uh, which means we have to case the piers to keep the water from gushing out of the ground, which costs a lot of extra money, but that's what the engineer is insisting on. Okay, we stopped to check out the house. They finished all the rough-in plumbing for the septic and the water. Looks like they've delivered some gravel here today. I guess that has something to do with the forms. They're setting the forms and uh, fixing to finish up this all this dirt work and set the plastic and the steel so we can pour the foundation here in the next week or so. This is uh, October 11th, 2019. Well, they're finishing up the forms to pour the foundation put in all the steel and the plastic. Okay, so the foundation is ready to pour. They're gonna pour it tomorrow morning, Tuesday, November, I think it's like the 16th, or 17th maybe, 18th. Uh, the, you can see the elevations on, there's a container on that side. You can see the stub ups for the plumbing. Uh, these are bedrooms on either side downstairs. And uh, you can see this one small board here, which is the difference of the elevation of the side container, on the side foundations and the garage. And that's so that if something, uh, if water got in the garage or if the cars leaked in the garage, it doesn't get out underneath the containers on either side. And this place that juts out right here is for the elevators and the circular stairs to go to all three stories. And that area out in the middle right there is for the elevator pit for the guts or the mechanism for the elevator. These boxes with the studs coming up in them are the base plates which are connected to the piers for the steel columns and there's 31 of them throughout the slab. Well, we're here this morning. It's November the, oh, I can't remember the date. It's Tuesday, I think November the 18th to pour our foundation. Got all the trucks lined up. Got the pumper up there. To get it done. Okay, they're just now starting. They're filling the beans first. Miss State Farm. She's supervising. Those are rock sandwiches for all the workers. So this guy is controlling where the where the pump comes out at. So he's got like a drone control there strapped on him and he's moving those controls to make this pipe, this hose, move around so where the concrete guys want it to go. So these black things are the plumbing leave outs. So that's where uh, after the concrete is poured, those will be sticking up and then you open them and there'll be pipes there that connect into the bottoms of the shipping containers. So he's got his uh, electronic laser there and he's checking the elevations to make sure that everything is level and that things are uh, that are supposed to drain drain or are angled the garage has a pitch to it the garage floor so he's shooting around at corners of the grade as they pour to make sure they're getting it all at the right elevation
Okay, so this is the finished product. There's Miss State Farm. She's checking it out. This, uh, this is the left front. This is where the elevator goes. That pit is where the guts for the elevator works. And then this area around the elevator is stairs that go up three stories. This is the garage through here. Three cars across and three deep. Nine cars. Bedrooms on either side of this lower area, which are containers. Containers get set on either side. That's the guest quarters back there. This, this lot is zone duplex, so we were required to build a duplex. So the up, upstairs unit is going to be a container apartment, and the downstairs is going to be for storage, like for lawnmowers and whatever. Here it is from the north or the back side. Okay, we're here today. We've had a little delay, two months, because we hired a welder, and then he ran off. It was a lot of money, too. So we had to find another welder, and it's kind of complicated, but they've been working here for two days now. And you can see they put what we call these stubbies. Those are going to be columns uh, that support the, all the floors and the roof structure and so on and so on. They'll be taller eventually. And uh, there's columns on both sides because this area where the garage goes is freestanding, uh, free span. So there's no columns at all in the garages. There'll be containers on either side. And they've also delivered our uh, high lift back there. Uh, it's called a telehandler, which is something that it goes lifts 50 feet in the air so that they can put uh, raise the steel up for the ceilings and roofs and all the other stuff. For each of these stubby columns is there's another plate that goes 30 inches down into the concrete, which goes down into the pier, which is 21 feet deep. And those plates are, they're leveled using these, this nut system, the nut and these studs, so that these columns that are going to be 35 feet into the air eventually uh, are straight and level. So this is the uh, telehandler, and it's a lift with a hydraulic telescope thing that goes out on the end that raises a man up and, and or materials that has for, forks on the front of it and it'll lift uh, 56 feet into the air. This is the guest quarters or mother-in-law's quarters. The lower container is for storage like Christmas decorations and lawnmowers and things like that. And the upper one will have windows and doors and a little deck on the back and it'll be what you call guest quarters or mother-in-law's quarters. There's 32 of these columns with these leveling nuts and bolt systems in them and this is the elevator pit which is where the hydraulic equipment that makes the, the elevator work goes.